I'm going to tell you a brief scientific story from my own experience. It's been a great honor, actually, that uh, Nobel Media and AstraZeneca selected Gothenburg as a site for uh, this, these talks and this wonderful lecture by uh, uh, Dr. Kornberg today. So I would suggest that there's room for much greater stories. We know less, far less than 1% of all possible knowledge of human biology. People don't realize that the greatest challenge is the choice of problem. It isn't solving the problem. We've had a wonderful day today with Roger Kornberg, who's the Nobel Prize laureate for chemistry. He's interacted with our young scientists, he's gone around the labs, and I think he's really got everyone very geed up about what is innovation and how do we create innovative environments. The mark of successful people, call them innovators, call them whatever you will, uh, they usually manage to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat at some time or other. He talked a lot about uh, how hard it could be in some periods and it's a bumpy road but uh, it's worth it, he said, and uh, I take that with me, of course. His advice on uh, how to deal with when you have self-doubt was very encouraging. We located the positions of almost 30,000 carbon nitrogen and oxygen atoms. He is actually able to explain his science, his very detailed science, to, to everyone, so everyone understands it. I was really struck by how good a communicator Professor Kronberg was. It was a pleasure to listen to the lecture. To meet a Nobel Prize laureate uh, early in your uh, scientific career has a lasting impact. My uh, graduate advisor who was a chemist, he came into the lab and he said, you know, he said the important thing is to fail every day. I think it's great for us to uh, see or in person meet a Nobel Prize taker because it encourages you on your future career. So if you really want this, then uh, there are no challenges too hard to overcome.